Hey, it's Pokemon Orange and Blossom Lights. It's me, Sparkle here, coming for a new video. In this video, I am going to be doing my submission for this month's Proper Cross Community Redraw. So, without further ado, let's roll into it. Let's get into this video and let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, for this character design, <clears throat> well, this one's Pop Cross Community Redraw for the first, for the first, for, well, first off part is the, um, the prompt. The prompt is for us to take a character from the, from his series and, well, one of his Multiverse Tales characters and turn it into something else. Something f folklore related. Let's just say I did have some fun with it. Well, I had a quite a bit of fun actually. Um, the other characters that could have been used were, well, quite a handful. They, some other people have gotten some pretty cool ideas for them. Um, but. We had turned into folklore creatures. The prompt was in total. Turn a multiverse tales character into a folklore creature. Draw two different full body poses of the character at rest and in movement. Lore required. And I did a digital version. Um, this one is technically kind of the at rest one. It's a very fun drawing. It was a very complicated one. It did take me a while to actually get this thing done. But overall, it was a, it came out fairly good in my opinion. But overall, thing was kind of a pain to come up with. Now because I am not, I don't have a lot of experience from recently from drawing because I haven't really drawn a lot recently. But I'm hoping that my next few videos turn out pretty well. Anyways, the other characters people could have used were by Michaela or Michaela Michael, Tayron Genevar, Sterling Angeal, Alexis Jones, Heath Hurricane Reynolds, <clears throat> Astra slash Diamos, and the Kid, aka Jake Tagan, and Killable Kate, Benny Sharp. Dr. Champagne McGregor and Vasilia Kuznet must be designed with a wear drag wire. <laughs> and the character I did, Kashmora Noria or Noori? Noori. I give full permission to design Mara in her final demon form if you so desire, but other options will be accepted for her too. <clears throat> and as you can tell, I did go for somewhat of a demon-like design, but I also did more of a dragon design. And if you remember correctly from my last, um, from my last videos, I did, um, Lame Nava as a, as more draconic. Well, needless to say, this is what I actually took inspiration from when designing this one, as well as my other demons I've drawn. I took the inspiration from the demons, um, with the, um, with the legs and the, mainly just the lower body. I did my best to try to replicate, um, the, what her arm is like with the demon bits. But as you can see, I also did some other things with it, like on the head of him, of her, I actually... Um, took one piece and changed it from a regular old eye and turned it into more of a demon eye, which I've drawn. And then on her other eye, I kind of covered it up and gave it a red scale, scale like texture to it. Pretty much, this is her dragon side. And the reason why her head is a red color, or his ears are still a regular. Um, humans pale, and, well, 
just a design element I decided to put, point in. But as you can see, one ear is actually kind of still curled, whereas the other one is kind of turning to a point. I can imagine this turning to something like a horn, but I did keep her like hair-like design. But like I was saying, the Malim Nava hand I designed, it came from that. It was a pretty cool design, and also I did try to add some of my draconic elements into her demon arm. It did turn out pretty well. And as if you look closely on her demon arm, you would actually see it slowly fading, well, fading from a, well, turning from a scales into a full-on demon arm. It was an actual design element I really liked, and it turned out pretty well. Now, this one is something very similar. I like the last one. You can see I had a lot of electricity coming off of the tail, and a little fire in her hand. And this one in front of the sketch, as you can see, I have some electricity coming off of her one demon hand and coming around from her hair and also still on her tail, but she also can shoot fire from her hand. She can do this with both arms and she can fly with her wings. And speaking of abilities, here are pretty much all the, um, here's the lore I came up with for it. Here's the entire thing. Demonic Draconic Kashmara. Kashmara turned into this form by interrupting Astra and Tamerin while they were work, both working on a very complex dragon. She was turned back to normal the next day, mainly because Tamerin wanted to see and note what this new form allowed Kashmara to do. <laughs> that was only if she was okay with it, and she was. So after the day of testing and noting both, and noting... Both Astra and Tamerin worked together to remove the extra energies from Kashmara. This, in turn, actually slowed the progression of her curse a bit. Here are Tamerin's notes. Add added body parts slash features. A tail that ends up in a pointed tail that tip that appears to be made out of some biological metal. Wings, a de de demonic eye and draconic eye, and draconic scales. Powers, which are a lot more. Extremely enhanced speed, strength, stamina, and endurance. Extremely high defense thanks to her draconic skills. Enhanced eyesight far better on her left dragon side or on than on her right demon side. Ability to read people's minds thanks to her demon eye. Lightning fast reflexes. Ability to fly thanks to the wing, pair of wings that are to grab her back. Extremely fast healing capabilities. Ability to cause her slime that comes from her demon arm to explode into flames. Yeah, I took I took um, Nezuko's power from that also. Ability to heal others. Ability to turn invisible. Ability to control fire and lightning. Ability to breathe fire. I didn't give her the ability to breathe lightning because I I really didn't want to draw that out. And also, I couldn't really think of a good pose that would actually allow me to draw her entire body for it. <clears throat> Overall, I really, really liked how this, uh, this second form turned out. And needless to say, it was kind of a pain to actually fully draw it out. Because the first one took me around 20, 42 minutes and 6 seconds, whereas the last one took me... Oh, I'll be 44 minutes and 51 seconds. Trust me, doing these drawings is fun, but is a little taxing when it comes to time and how long they take to draw. No, that's pretty much all I gotta say for the drawings. I hope you're okay with listening to a little bit of music for the rest of this.
Well, I hope everyone enjoyed today's video because I've heard the time we got for today. But until next time, subscribe to me and subscribe to me. Or do you want to like goodbye and peace out everyone.